Well, hello, my other lifers. How are you on this lovely morning, afternoon, or evening? <sighs> Today's video is a mixture of some shopping hauls and some small, teensy, tiny, is that a word? Tiny, teeny, tiny footage from my little mini vacay. It's not exuberant, hence why we are doing a combo video. I mean, the footage wise. Um, yeah, me and my boyfriend, we went away last week and I had already recorded these um, shopping hauls for you because we went to the outlets shopping and um, as I was editing the footage, I had some giant round tissue paper shit on my face. How I didn't see it, I don't know. So the first portion of the shopping hall, which was oh the, the largest portion, is worthless footage because I am not putting that up on the internet. All right, I already got <sighs> random embarrassing clips. And then there's just, there's just, sometimes I do have dignity, okay? It, it, it shows up once in a while. So I'm not putting that footage up. So I'm gonna re-record it right now so I can get this video up because I know it's been a couple weeks since I've um, uploaded here. Uh, I'm gonna go through it as fast as possible. It's not a try on haul. You know, he and I, we went to Boston, Massachusetts and from where I live in New York till there, the journey we took, we went by a few, well, I shouldn't say we went by, I'm sorry. In a general range <laughs> around where we were staying and the drive up there, we stopped at outlets that were pretty nearby our travels. We went to the Lee Premium Outlets and we went to Merrimack, so New Hampshire. So again, I took a little bit of footage here and there. The, the whole point of the trip was to go see A Perfect Circle, Pussifer, and Primus. Pussifer in A Perfect Circle, if you didn't know, uh, the lead singer to both of those bands is Maynard James Keenan, who is also the lead singer of my favorite band, Tool. So, oh, I mean, I, Radiohead's still one of my favorite bands, too. I mean, there's... There's a lot of bands that you'll hear me say, oh my God, they're my favorite band, okay? But like Tool really is my favorite band. I love Maynard James Keenan. I have yet to hear anything that he is ever saying that I didn't like or at minimum appreciate his voice. It's the same. So because of that, I 100% wanted to go see because that was a... I don't recall Pussifer coming this close before. I'm not saying they haven't. But this is the first time I caught it before, you know, it already passed by. So again, um, and they did come to New York, but this um, Boston, Massachusetts location, to be honest, it was actually easier to go to that one than it was to go to New York City. Um, as well as, or am I confusing that with Tool concert? I don't remember. I don't remember why I picked this Boston, Boston Mass. I picked that location because it was the first night of the tour. And I've always wanted any concert band that I've ever seen in concert. I've always wanted to be on the first night. I don't know why. So I had my experience and we had front row seats. And I cannot tell you how amazing those seats were. When I say we were close to the, we were leaning on the stage. That doesn't happen at most concerts. Like major concerts of major bands not we're playing in a bar down the road. This is a major concert. To not have like a barrier with security guards, then the stage, to not have that. Oh, listen, I'm going to be 50 next month. Can you believe that? Fucking 50. Oh my God. Anyway, um, I'm going to be 50. Okay. I've been to a lot of concerts over my life. I've been a concert girl ever since I was old enough for my parents to say, yes, you can go. We're talking teenager, okay, junior high. I've been going to concerts for a long ass time. That is the closest I have ever been to a major band, the stage. It was incredible, like incredible. You can see my sidekick is here and she's partying with a toy. 
you bringing it to me? Bitch, I'm busy. Poop, I'm, I'm busy. This is busy time. Anyway, I'm busy. I'm recording. This is big business. So anyways, so I have poop here. I need it. <laughs> um, I don't remember what I was just fucking saying. I just forgot. Anyway, I need I need to get moving. I need to record this because I got a coach call coming up. I still got to work out and I need to take her for a walk. Okay. Got some things to do. Um, I feel like I'm forgetting something. Uh, it'll come to me. So I'm going to show you what I got from the Old Navy outlet and the Bloomingdale's outlet, as well as a store called Vici, Vici, V-I-C-I, that has nothing to do with the outlet shopping or the vacation. It's something I ordered and it just came in. So I'm like, I only bought one item. So there's no point in making a single video. I've never bought anything from that company. Oh, what we'll do, you know what? Let's do them first. I have never purchased anything from them before. I ha I was purchasing something else and I was using whatever app I was using then suggested this store and the picture of the store they sent me, the person, the model in the picture was wearing this shirt. I'm like, I like that sweater, it looked nice. It's one of those like oversized baggy, it reminds me of something that uh, free, that brand Free People would, that band, that brand. Ah, uh, the brand Free People. It looks like something they would make. I'm like, oh my God, that's so cute. Let me get it. It's a little bit bigger than I thought it was going to be. But it's okay. I'm still going to wear it. I'm not going to lie though. The reviews did warn to size down and I certainly didn't. I got it in extra large. Poop. You checking it out? Is it safe? Okay. So. It's a pretty, it was supposed to be the color lilac. I'm thinking this is more orchidy pink, but that's all right. And we'll have to step back so you can see. So this is it. It's a little bit, it's a little bit baggier than, okay, this is the side of me. This, this damn thing goes even further. Two of me could wear this sweater, but I think it's the style. Okay. But again, this is in, is this extra large? Yes, extra. Duh. extra large but I think it's cute they had all different colors but some of the other pretty colors were sold out she's so rude so yeah basic sweater nice baggy one I liked the arms that was that's what honestly caught my attention I, I love a detailed sleeve okay all right so there's that I have so much to do with this thing. I'm funny, but I'm feeling so good lately because I'm getting on top of shit. I'm getting things done that have been on my to-do list for a million years, so I'm feeling motivated. Here's the store if that helps. Okay. All right, so there's that. Poop is ready for me to take it for a walk, so we got to rush to this, okay? Bloomingdale. I purchased a pair of Stephen New York. It's freaking Steve Madden. I didn't know they call themselves Steven now. I thought it was just Steve Madden. Or maybe it's, they've branched off into two brands. I don't know. Either way, they were reasonably priced. Sandals. What are these called? Like rattan, I think. Rattan wedges. I've been wanting a pair of, to me, they remind me of like Esperidil. Esperidils? Esperidils? I don't know. You know what she's a... I want a pair of Esperidils. 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 I don't know how to say it. She doesn't care. Just so you know. But this kind of like wraps around. And it's, I don't know, it's cute. So I got those. This says they were $69.99. But I did not pay that. I know I didn't. I don't remember what I paid though. But it wasn't $69.99. I purchased, this is a brand I've never heard of before. It's literally called Three Dots. Three Dots, but the brand is literally called Three Dots. And it's just a hoodie, it's a basic hoodie. And pretty. These pastel colors are, 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 I think they're my color, outside of like purples and stuff. 
Just saying. I did one of those, um, I think it's called Color Me, but it's, it's uh, you know, when you see what colors you're, excuse me, no, drop it. Did you come over here and steal clothes? And then from the brand DKNY, Donna Coran, New York, I got this one, this sweatshirt. There was just something about it, the way it sparkled. I don't know. I liked it. I thought it was cute. So I got that. But I'm not going to lie. When I was looking at it, I'm like, oh, white though. Keeping clothes white at, at my place, man. <laughs> like it's just a problem in my house, but I struggle with keeping things white. So hopefully it won't be a problem. Oh, and I bought some Spanx. No, she wants to come and she's trying to take off with everything. I love you, but you steal the clothes and it bugs me. Okay, there's that. There's that. Now for Old Navy. Pardon me. I bought a pair of, I forgot what this material is. Is, that, is it rayon? No, polyester maybe. There's like, they're spandex, but they're spandex mixed with something. So they're joggers. Um, I didn't try anything on when I purchased these in the, the outlet. I have a thing for Old Navy. I love Old Navy. I get, I love their workout pants. Um, so yeah, I don't know why I feel like I'm defending Old Navy. I just, I like Old Navy. I get a lot of my stuff from there. Um, I got these in extra large. I'm going to say I, I have tried them on and um, they're a little bit baggier than I was hoping, but that's okay. I, I'm pretty sure someone has left me a comment before that girl, you're in it. You're in a, you need to size down. And I can't remember if they said you're in a large. I think they actually did. And um, you are right. I'm coming to know that, but I've already had the discussion on how I still struggle in knowing my sizes. Just saying. Plus, old Namie runs big in anyway. Just saying. Um, so I got a second pair of these joggers. They're they, they're slightly different than the ones I just showed you, but I did get these in the large. And I, uh -huh. oh, this was what they were different. These are more cargo joggers. Same material. Again, I have tried these on, and you were right, whoever, Mr. or Mrs. Commenter. The large did feel better, but it doesn't matter. I will wear those extra larges anyway. Of course, I bought some workout bands. I just loved this color. I think I already own a pair in this color, but got me a second pair. And these have more pockets than I'm used to. That's why I liked them. Oh, those were extra large. Okay, and these were some tights, the basic leggings, tight leggings. I got them because they're thick and they were on clearance for $6.97. And these are gonna be perfect for next winter because we're already in spring here and they're thick. Like thick sweatshirty material. But there are days that I wish I had those on, you know? And I don't have any more. So I needed them. Another pair of workout type pants, but these are like short ones. Like these end at my knees. Because I am short. I thought I got these in clearance. Maybe I didn't. I guess I didn't. So I got those and got them in extra large. Mm. I got, I went in the men's section and checked out some of their t-shirts and I got this extra large. I like, I like anything space celestial themed. I'm sure you, you know that by other shopping hauls and the t-shirts I tend to wear. And 
important. It was buy one, get one. So that's the back of it. Space. Galaxies. All right, is that a galaxy? I don't know. It's something in space. And I got just a basic black tank top. Oops, where's the front of it? Where's the front? And an extra large. Also in the men's section, I got a sweatshirt that was on clearance. Just a basic Old Navy sweatshirt. It says I got it for $16.99. I feel like it was less than that, but whatevs. So one moment, I got one more bag to grab. Look at me whipping through this haul. I am just so impressed. I got this sweatshirt. We're back into the women's section now. I think these are all in 2X. So I got this sweatshirt. Pretty much of just a basic one. It says California on it, but it, uh, I got it. I don't know. There's something about these brights. I like brights. Brights, pastels, they're my thing. Outside of like navy or black. Did I even finish my thought on that? How I did my, but it's called something where you, not color wheel, but it's, maybe it is color wheel. My color, me color. I don't know. It's an app that I found online that takes a, like you, you upload a, a picture of yourself and it color match, I think, maybe, where they check your eye color, skin tone, and hair color. And then from there, they tell you like, you're a spring, you're a summer, blah, blah. blah. And I was summer something. So it gives you like a range of colors that will, that suit you. And come to find out the colors that suit me were colors that were like 100% of my wardrobe, literally. So, you know, I, I'm trying to think, there's certain colors that just look like shit on me but look amazing on someone else. And eh, I forget, but I remember like, you know, putting on nail polish that like ugh, just does not look good against my skin tone. It looks ugly. It's not because the color is ugly. It's just, it doesn't look that awesome with my skin tone. And it made sense to me how sometimes I can have a shirt, same shirt in two different colors and how the difference in how you look with the different colors, especially if it's a color that don't look, you don't look good in, look good in, you look washed out and shit. So just saying. So I got this one. This one's actually a hoodie. Just basic, old navy. But I liked the color for spring, as well as this one. The whole store was buy one get one fifty percent, except for. The clearance section. That's why you see like, Jesus, this was a big all. That's why. Pink. I need to run. Okay. Yeah. So I got this one. I, I, I saw those from outside as we were walking by. I'm like, yes. I already know what I'm getting. Getting those. Another pair of leggings. Not leggings. Yeah, still leggings. Extra large. But I got these because these had side pockets on them. And my boyfriend bought me. I told you how we went to the concert. And the concert tour is called Sasanta. The Sasanta tour. And that is because it is Maynard James Keenan's 60th, 60th birthday. His birthday is actually April 17th. The day after my mom's. Um, but the whole tour is about his birthday. Because he did one for his 50th birthday. I forgot the name of that one. I forgot the name. Whatever. Sasanta. I th is it Spanish? I'm not sure, but it's it. Whatever language, it means 60. So my boyfriend bought me a merch shirt. And um, all three bands were like almost all the members of all three bands were on the stage 
the whole show. So like Pussifer, I think, yeah, they opened. So Pussifer played three songs, but like Perfect Circle and Primus were there, like sitting up on these couches in the back behind. Not in the back though, that was still like on the stage. Um, then, I don't remember. Oh my God, I'm forgetting. I think it went, no, I think a perfect circle opened. Oh my God, I don't remember. It was either Perfect Circle, Primus, Pussifer. They would play three songs each and then rotate again. And the whole two-hour show was like that. It was awesome. I had such a good time. But there's the tour dates on the back. And there you go. Oh, it actually says it on there. A 60th birthday celebration for Maynard James Keenan. I can't see it. It's under there. Because when we got there, the merch line was obnoxious. And I'm, I looked at my brother and I'm like, yeah. I already checked before we got there. They're selling these shirts on the website. We don't need to see it live. We don't want to. You know what I'm <laughs> so he went off to go buy more drinks while we were sitting down. And then he came back with drinks and merch. I'm like, thank you so much. It was so nice. So anyways... Okay, I think that's freaking it. All right. So the next footage you're going to see is the the original footage I recorded of the shopping hall because I have some, there's some Yankee, some Bath and Body Works coming up. I can't think of anything else. I'm not remembering. Mind you, I recorded this last week. So sitting here today and figuring out that, you know, first of all, what does that tell you about how I have to even put away any of these purchases yet? And thank God for that. Because if I had already put all these clothes away, I already know me. I would have been like, no, I ain't record. I'll just tell them about it. I'm too lazy to pull it all back out. So there you go, friends. There's my beginning of the video. There's my purchases. Onwards. So the rest of the shopping halls as well as some footage from our little getaway. It's not a lot. Don't get excited. Okay. It's not a huge vlog type of thing. Oh, she's coming up. She's got to bring a toy. There you go. Big girl. Yes. Big girl. Pretty girl. Yeah. We've got all sorts of threads and things like that. This is Poop's special pink blanket. It's hers. Huh? She's here. She's chewing her present. She's got a toy. Are you chewing your toy? You're so pretty. Do you know you're so pretty? Do you? It's just traffic. It's just traffic. Okay. I'm trying to go as fast as I can before my boyfriend gets home. All right. So we went to the Bath and Body Works outlet. I think it's an outlet. Didn't say outlet anywhere. It seemed like a regular Bath and Body Works. Oh, I could be crazy. But there's not one in any of the outlets that I'd ever been to until I got to the, the Massachusetts one. So I don't know if it's a thing or not. So from the outlet, I'm going to put my glasses on so I can read. All right. So I bought... Two of, I don't know if these are new scents. I haven't checked the website, so I am unsure if these are new or not. I had never heard of them. However, if you didn't know, Bath and Body Works is known to recycle scents and just label it something new. Just saying, I'm telling you that for a reason. Okay, so I bought, they had this section of like, supposed to be like luxury fancy body sprays in this outlet, Okay. And there were no matching lotions at this store to any of these. And it was like, they had like, like 10, 10 or 12 in a row with the try me's all sitting together. And then the whole display was back to back rows of these body sprays, you know, obviously broken down in between color section. So I bought two of this called Viva Vanilla. 
is the name of it. And it says that it smells like rich plum, flowing, no, glowing amber and addictive vanilla. Okay. I can tell you it smells amazing. But this is Bonfire Bash. This is Bonfire Bash. And if they claim it's not, then it's, uh, is fraternal twins when they're twins, but they don't look exactly the same. Whatever those kind of twins are, that's what this is. It's, it's freaking flower. It's Bonfire Bash. I'm telling you it's Bonfire Bash. Okay? Bonfire Bash. So it smells to me like marshmallows and bonfire. And it smells amazing. But because I have a stash of Bonfire Bash, I only bought the two. But I will be wearing this bitch. These, this smells so good. I cannot. I cannot. Okay. Then I purchased. Hold on. Seeing what I got for matches. I bought the lotion and the body spray. Body spray. Body spray of Tropidelic. I don't know. It's a new scent to me. Um, thinking spring, summer, it's notes are irresistible passion flower, yang yang, and misty rainforest. It's tropical paradise. It's tropical paradise. It's the typical, when I say the word tropical, I'm assuming what you just thought of was like guava, pink passion fruit. Maybe coconut, maybe pineapple, maybe some citrus mixed in. That's what this smells like. A full drop of oil, of scent oil of each one of those, all in a bowl. That's what Tropidelic is to me. Okay? Tropidelic. Smells really nice. Editing Kim here. I have an update on that Tropidelic scent since I have worn it a few times since that purchase. And remember what I said earlier in this video, that Bath & Body Works is pretty well known for retiring a scent, but bringing it back under a new name. I believe that that Tropidelic is the hibiscus guava fresca. Hibiscus guava fresca. That scent came out in either like 2020, 2021, somewhere, but maybe 2022. It was in a, you know, pink, hot pinkish colored fragrance shit. I have it upstairs. So I'm just saying, if you have the hibiscus guava fresca, you, you don't necessarily need tropidelic. But if you had that and loved it and don't have any more, go get yourself Tropidelic. Just saying. Keeping in the... I was in the mood to be stocking up for the spring-summer scents, right? I, I'm a, I am like so well taken care of for, for uh, autumn and winter. So spring and summer, I have... Obviously, I have some scents that are fine for spring and summer and some direct spring and summer ones. But I knew I wanted a couple of more. I wanted, blah, blah, blah. I wanted more. So I got uh, Fiji. Sunshine Guava Teeny. Smells so good. It is Sun Kissed Guava, Fresh Orange, and Seaside Jasmine. I smell the Sun Kissed Guava, the Fresh Orange, with some hints of pineapple and coconut. I purchased, um, I'm going to keep that same energy. Costa Rica Pink Pineapple Surprise. It scents our sweet pink pineapple, palm sugar, and sun-drenched nectar. This is... Oh, my gosh. You know that banana passion fruit or banana passion flower? or banana something flower that they have. It smells like the sister of that scent with just a little bit more pineapple, but 
also pink lemonade. That's what this smells like. So good. Oh, now, back when I was telling you about these Viva Vanilla, the, the special, all they had was uh, body sprays. I bought the pink one, and it's called Pink Obsessed. And it's supposedly blushing jasmine, cashmere praline, and vanilla bourbon. How's that Pink Obsessed? I don't know. It just smells pretty. It smells like, oh yeah. I smell the praline and exactly what your typical anything titled pink something that scent. Like the old perfume pink from Victoria's Secret mixed with the praline. It smells so good, just saying. So I got that. And, you know, it was, you had to buy some to get some. So just to even mine out, I bought the scent Luminous. It's not new. I know that they've had this. So it's Ruby Current Gilded Iris and Praline Amber. To me, it's just your typical crispy scent. Crispy. You definitely smell the amber, the current, maybe the iris, but, you know, there ain't no vanilla-y to it to me, right? Somebody else might sniff that out. I don't smell that praline scent in it at all. It's a crispy scent. It's a scent that you would wear if you were wearing Victor and Rolf's Flower Bomb, Coco Mademoiselle by Chanel. This would be a good body spray to mix with it. Also, I needed, because I, I have fallen in love with the scent, Champagne Toast. So I bought a lotion of Champagne Toast because I already got the body sprays. And unfortunately, the back of this does not give the notes. Champagne Toast smells like champagne on the crispy side. So anytime something's labeled champagne, you already know, you already have an idea of what that champagne scent kind of is. It's that crispy. Again, this is something you would match with Chanel, Coco, Mademoiselle, even Victor and Rolf's Flower Bomb. Um, uh, Ely Sable Le Parfum. Yes, you could wear this with that kind of a scent. The old, the one, <laughs> I forgot what year, but one of the years of the Miss Dior's. They change it so damn much. But it, it would you would want to wear it with something like that. Okay, so then I went to the side of the house to get some, uh, just some wallflowers. I got pink apple punch. And I ain't going to be able to tell you. I'll tell you, it's a fruity bright scent. It's got the fragrant notes of crisp apple, melon, and sugar crystals. But they're locked on, so I can't open them and tell you exactly my description. Sweet kiwi and star fruit. Golden kiwi, juicy star fruit, and sh solar woods. I don't know. It was a spring scent, man. And I think I bought more than one of those. I bought one of those tropidelic scents. I bought a wallflower to match the tropidelic. I actually bought two of those. Springtime in Paris. Soft peach, lotus blossom, and fresh bergamot. Fresh Amalfi lemon. I don't, this just smelled like lemon to me. I remember smelling that one. Man, I thought I bought two of those. Damn book off ones. Darn it. I, I got the scent book loft. I've never heard of it. It says it's a warm and woodsy scent. Cozy up under your warm blanket as you turn the page of your favorite book. That's the fragrance notes. But it's kind of a good description. That's what it smells like. And I got one called Vanilla Cloud. And it's under the treats and sweets section. That's new to me. Uh, 
Airy Frigia, Vanilla Cream, and Blonde Woods. It smelled really good. And Sweet Orange and Agave. Um, I'm sitting here, here, I'm reading you all the notes. I'm like, why am I reading them the notes? I don't know for sure if that's what they smell like. I'm recording. It's the room. Much for coming out. This is what it looks like to be 60, bitches. Happy birthday! <laughs> Oh,
It's the next day and I just didn't have time to finish recording everything yesterday and I don't know man it's like the, the traveling hit me and we only went to Massachusetts it was like a five-hour drive but of course a loud car comes by right as I'm starting to talk my god not a move not a car in hours and now there's a loud fucking truck I'm bitchy today listen to that Anyway, um, so I'm picking up. Today's Saturday morning. 
my boyfriend got called into work last night, so he's sleeping. He came home early this morning. He's sleeping, poops over here chilling with some toys and treats, and yeah, I'm gonna show you the Yankee Candle stuff I bought now. Um, if you watched my outlets shopping haul, I can't remember when I put it up, you're gonna recognize some of these items because they're repeats. <sighs> If you're new to my channel or you're new to this particular channel, but you know me from Manifesting with Kimberly, you might not know that I have a love-hate relationship with Yankee Candle. I do think that they skip out on putting a lot of scent oil into some of their newer candles. They used to be the best of the best. Yankee Candle, like back in the 90s, early 2000s, they were the best of the best. They were untouchable, in my opinion. Not so much anymore. I get the majority of my candles from Goose Creek and from, um, what's it called? Better Homes and Gardens. And I, I don't even know if Sensationals makes them, but the Walmart brands. Because their scent throw is friggin' amazing. But Yankee does have some candles that they still put enough stuff in. But I'll be honest with you. Most of the time, I'm not getting them from the stores. I'm going to the outlets. So I don't know if that makes a difference. I don't know if any of these candles have been inside their regular stores recently. I know one scent used to be. But like I said, um, excuse me, I should take that back. I know that one, two, three of them for sure have been in the, the regular stores at some point over the years. The other ones, I'm not sure, and the jars of them that I have, I have gotten from the outlets. And I gotta eat my words again, four. Four of them I know were in the stores. So I'm gonna start, get them all here waiting for you. Some of them are holiday specific also. I don't know if that matters to you. Um, Let's see. If you didn't know, like my favorite scents are depending on my mood. I love cotton candy. I love marshmallow. I have an obsession with blueberry. I also love crispy air scents like Mountain Lodge, if you remember that candle, which I did see at the outlet, but I opened it, smelled it. I'm like, that ain't like Mountain Lodge that they used to do because there was hardly any scent to it. And I'm going to tell you right now, if you open up a jar candle and just smell the jar, the jar, the jar on a cold cap sniff, and you can barely smell the scent, the scent throw ain't gonna be there, okay? I'm an expert in scentology. I just made that word up, I think. That might be a word. <sighs> Poop knows that I'm getting into the bag, so she's gonna come investigate at some point. She's standing right here with saying, is there anything in there for me? Um, so one of these candles didn't have the best scent throw. I got it anyway for nostalgia purposes. It reminds me of when my kid was little. Reminds me of Christmas when he was little, so I'm just keeping it real. But my lifetime favorite scent from Yankee Candle outside of Witch's Brew from the Halloween line. There's two of them that I am just, I am obsessed with. And it's not this one. I don't want you to see him before that. It's this. Blueberry. This was its first, it was first poured in 1970. Oh my gosh, I did not know that. It's got a little sticky here. But yep, I got this from the outlet. It is their regular scent blueberry. This is so beautiful. It is your like quintessential blueberry scented candle. I love it, and I have a couple in backup. I wanted to add one more to my backup so I can burn one of them. I love this scent so much. If you notice when I do like um, Better Homes and Gardens and Sensational Wax Tart Hauls from Walmart, if there's a blueberry scent available, you'll notice I buy obnoxious quantities of them. And I also purchase uh, wax tarts from Goose Creek, blueberry scented. I, cause I can't get enough of it. I love blueberry. Love it. All right? Like say we're going out to dinner. 
and choices and dessert. If there's a blueberry item there, I'm gonna get it. I just love blueberry, always have, okay? So I bought one of these and this one is a scent I do remember seeing in a Yankee Candle store. And um, actually, no, I don't remember seeing it in the store. I remember seeing it in Yankee Candle Village, which is, I don't know if it's their main store, but it's a big store and it's in Massachusetts and it's just, they got little sections. There's a Christmas section. There's a, oh God, I can't even explain. There's so much there. It's huge. You used to be able to like pour your own stuff there. I don't know if they still do that. I haven't been there in years. This is where I first got that, this particular candle. The only other place I've seen it is in the outlets. So again, I don't know. What I find is weird though is it's New England blueberry. It's a, oh, it says right on it, village exclusive. I think it smells just like blueberry. Like, I don't smell a difference between the two candles. Keeping it real. So I don't know why they do. Um, and I do already own one of these. Same thing. I wanted to get another so I can actually burn one of my in stock ones. I'm going to tell you. They smell the same to me. But I've never, I don't think I've ever burned the New England one. So I don't know if it's different when it gets going. But if you're like me and you like blueberry scents, man, I'm going to give it to Yankee Candle. These are amazing. So like I said, I already own these. You probably saw them in the old hall from when we went to the outlets. And I think they're in the Waterloo ones. I don't, I don't know. I never remember. I bought some from that outlet. I love, love blueberry. Okay, enough. One of my other old-time favorites, Vineyard. Vineyard. It was first poured in 2000. This is your, it's grape. Okay, that's when I smell, I smell grape. And it smells amazing. Not like, not like candy, or maybe a hint of it, but definitely like Welch's grape juice. It's beautiful. I used to get this, I had the wax tarts. The scent throw was amazing back in the day. I have a few of these. I bought two this time. Same thing. I want to be able to burn one. It's so it is so good. I prefer to burn this scent, including, well, I'm not going to say that. I was going to say including the blueberry, but I prefer this scent in the spring and summer. But that's not saying you couldn't burn it in the fall or winter if you wanted to. So I got two of these. I definitely had this one in my last haul, and it is Tutti Fruity. And because... I think I only got one, or at least that's what my memory is. And my memory when I was buying it this time, I didn't want to use it because I only had one and I need to have a backup in order for me to burn. But I don't know that for sure because I haven't looked in my back stock book. So maybe I do get, maybe I did buy more than one. But if I didn't, I didn't think I did when I bought it this time. Oh my God, I'm rambling. Tutti Fruity. And it smells like candy. To me, it smells like a taffy type scent. Tutti for two. This one, I'm not sure. If this was ever in the store, it might have been. It's a Halloween candle and it's trick or treat. Now, they used to have one called trick or treat, I thought, that smelled like candy corn. I don't know. Yankee Candle changes shit up all the time. I don't know. To me, this smells like pumpkin-y. But it, is it a pumpkin and like pumpkin spice is what I smell with like hints of cologne in it. Anyways, they plus I should say that the outlet was having all sorts of sales. So that's why I kind of stocked up. But yeah, I got this one. You know me, I love my Halloween candles. This next candle is the candle that I bought for nostalgic purposes. 
the scent throw, I don't think is going to be anything. Keeping it real. And I do have a few of these in the medium size jar candle upstairs in stock that I haven't wanted to burn. In those, the scent throw's decent. Scent throw's not so decent here. And it is the old Mary Marshmallow. It says it was first poured in 2010. When you smell it like this, it is a very faint marshmallow-y. That's all I get is the marshmallow. But it does remind me of when my kid was young. He was So if this was first poured in 2010, my son would have been nine. Well, eight and nine, right? Oh, God, it just reminds me of him being little, setting things up for Santa Claus. Oh. So this is more nostalgia. <laughs> Lastly... This one I had purchased. I don't know of how many I bought. I don't remember. I purchased it at the outlet in Waterloo. It was fabulous. Fabulous. So this time around, I was smart and bought two. It is the scent. Jelly bean. It is an Easter scent. It was really discounted in the outlet because it was an Easter scent. Easter had already gone by. This smells so good. This smells like jelly beans with a few more drops of grape in the jelly beans. The one, I must have bought more than one because I, I allowed myself to burn one of the jars. And I was shocked at the throw it gave. It was really good. Like, really good throw. It smells so good. So I'm like, yep, I need more. I need more. So when we went to the outlets, that was my main focus, was finding more jelly bean. And I did. So I got two of them. I'm hoping I bought two from the last one. I cannot describe how good this smells. I love these types of scents for spring and summer. I am not your coconut girl for summertime. I like sweet. Sweet. Preferably sweet scents. Anyway, that's it. That's what I got from Andrew Campbell. So I'm assuming that's going to be the end of my haul. Or else it's going to be a really long video. You're looking at what I'm doing today. I'm chilling, catching up on work-related things, and thinking about doing a TikTok live stream as I'm talking to you. Anyway, I'm going to do my best to get this edited and get this up. It's been a couple weeks since I put something up on the, that other channel. And yeah, this is the year of me getting organized and get shit done. I want to get on a system that I don't feel restricted on. Okay, I'm rambling. I don't know what it is today. I am feeling overwhelmed because there's so many things I want to do and I consistently feel like I don't have enough time and I know I need, I need to stop identifying with that. If you know anything about manifestation, if you're not on my other channel, continuously telling yourself that you are this thing, well, then you're going to keep getting evidence of it. I need to identify as I'm easily organized and I get everything done. And I have plenty of time to relax and enjoy myself. That's what I need to identify with. That's, that's the goal. Organized and always get everything done. And have lots of fun. All right, I'm going to go. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed seeing little clips of the trip. And there's only a few clips. Because like I said, I tried to stay present in the trip. I'm, I'm one of them people. Let me just keep it real. I like taking recordings from things that I'm doing for the memories and because I like to put I like putting in YouTube videos but at the same time I also like to experience what I'm experiencing so I like to stay present in the moment so I don't think that'll change I don't think that there will ever be like a full record every single minute of what I'm doing because that's not staying present it's not anyway on that note, thank you very much for watching. Thank you to all the new subscribers. 
Thank you to the subscribers that have already been here. Thank you to all of you. I hope you are having a fabulous weekend. And I'll see you soon. Editing Kim here. Did you all see that pillow fall all on its own? I've been sitting on that couch, honestly, over an hour. Never touching the back rest of the pillow. So when I record videos, I'm sitting on the edge of the couch. It's just my comfortable way. I know that sounds weird, but that's how I sit. Okay, right now I'm sitting back on the couch. So you would see it like... That pillow just fell all on its own. I was nowhere near it. Y'all know I love a good conspiracy theory slash ghost story. Watch it again. I, I'm duplicating it so you can rewatch it. You can see, I'm not, I'm not sitting back. I'm not touching the backrest, back of the back pillow of the couch. I'm sitting nowhere near it. I wasn't moving. Thank you to all of you. I hope you are having a fabulous weekend. And I'll see you soon. Editing Kim here, I've been talking to you for five minutes. I never hit record. What do you think? Did you see it fall down? Is it a ghost? Poop reacts to weird things here. I hear weird noises all the time. I don't know. I want to think it's a ghost.